Tipping over now to basketball, the Denver Nuggets won game one of the 2023 NBA Finals by defeating the eighth seeded Miami Heat 104 to 93 at the Ball Arena on Thursday night. Nikola Jokic, who was playing in his first NBA Finals, led the Nuggets with a triple double of 27 points, 10 rebounds, and 14 assists. Jamal Murray scored 26 points and had 10 assists, while Aaron Gordon finished with 16 points. Hit center Bam Adebayo led his team with an impressive 26 points and 13 rebounds, while the Tigers' captain Gabe Vincent added 19 points and shot 5 of 10 from the three-point line as the Eastern Conference champions fell to the Western Conference champions. Murray fakes, fires, three-pointer straight on, got it! Murray's hot early. Getting it going early and staying aggressive. Point. Miami deficit after they trail by 12. Michael Porter. Now yeah, the bio almost got a piece of it. Great transition defense. Murray on the drive. Jokic again, the entry pass. And Gordon Banks at home. Nine assists for you. Have helped them get to the finals. Trying to find that shot. Murray, the runner, half the bucket, and another. Oh, nice fake out of Bayo goes in. Fake the handoff. I'm still looking for a mentor from this crew. <laughs> Murray, up top, Jokic, shot clock winding down, knocks down the three. Taking Denver out of the two-man game with Murray and Jokic. Lowry, connects on a three. All of a sudden it's that a baseline man. Jokic again, falling away. Got it again, back to back buckets by Jokic. Adebayo fakes the handoff. Goes right at Jokic, jump shot, that won't go. And there's the triple double. Nine and oh at home in the playoffs, they take game one. Well, that was one of my last messages to our group before the game. You know, I reminded our group, if they didn't know, that Miami went into Milwaukee and won game one. They went into the Garden in New York City and won game one. They won game one up in Boston. So uh, we did not want them coming in here, taking control of the series on our court. To your point, um, we've done a hell of a job all season long of protecting our home court. I don't think we've lost a game at home in the playoffs as of yet. And uh, we know Sunday night's going to be a hell of a challenge. I mean, uh, it was, uh, to be honest, I couldn't wait to start just because uh, when the game started, it felt a normal. Everything else didn't feel felt a normal. The whole media, main media day last, yesterday or the day before, you know, it was, um, I think it's people are making something bigger than it is, you know. And uh, when the game started, uh, I felt it really comfortable. No, they're fine. I mean, that's just, they're, they're, not getting, they're not going to get sick at sea. You know, if you got if they're shooters, you're not always going to be able to to, to make all the shots that you want. Uh, you know, then you have to find different ways to impact the game. Uh, our game is not built just on the three-point ball. You know, that we've proven that time and time again. We can win games, we can win series, regardless of how the three's going. Uh, but we also have ignitable guys. You see a couple go through, that all of a sudden can become an avalanche. So. Um, one way or another, we just we got to find a way to get the job done. Probably because we shot a lot of jump shots myself, probably leading that pack instead of um, putting pressure on the rim, um, getting layups, getting to the free throw line. Uh, you know, when when you look at it during the game, they all look like the right shots, and I'm not saying that we can't as a team make those, but got to get more layups, got to get more free throws, and um, whenever you miss and don't get back. The game gets out of hand kind of quickly. Um, we gave up too many layups, which we can also can't have happen. Um, but that's that's it as a whole. We got to attack the rim a lot more, myself included.